Welcome to the Michigan Runner Show. Join us each time as we explore the people, the places, and the events that shape our great sport. My body feels good, but I don't have much separation. Uh-huh. And the javelin's not going anywhere. So, like, the body feels good, and that's important. Uh, I'm just really ready for some of the technique to come back. Right. I, I know you've uh, talked uh, about, you know, you feel like you're doing the work, but... So- you know, something is not going. Right. So, you know, you pinpointed what you think is? Yeah, um, I've been really focused on my legs, and sometimes that means I forget about my arms and they get really open. So in the javelin, you want your shoulders to stay facing, like, the crowd here at Drake while your hips open up first, right? And right. Um, my legs are working well, but I'm just really lazy with my left arm. So my warm-up's actually today felt really good uh-huh. technically like with that in mind staying closed so I know that it's coming and I know there's a long time to world, cha- world championships and I'm excited about Pan Ams with kind of this new technical realization and a little bit of time to fix it um, but I loved my warm-ups and then I didn't do that in the competition no. what, I watched you out there doing your warm-ups out there you know, how did you feel when I saw you out there moving around in the grass how did all that feel for you my body feels good. Um, it just, it's really hard when you feel good and it still doesn't, like I'm objectively in good shape, but that's maybe different than good javelin shape, you know? So I just don't really have the feel that I'm used to having. Um, and sometimes that's a training thing, like I have to take a little bit of the load off to be able to feel the implement again. Uh, and there's time for that this season. Um, this is my 12th national podium in a row. Uh, and I'm super proud of that longevity. I'm also super proud of Ari. She is subjectively one of my best friends in this world and objectively a fantastic javelin thrower and just really what American women's javelin throwing needs and maybe what I need moving forward um, in this career. So I always want to show up at nationals. I really want to be a 10-time national champion and right now I'm at eight. So my plan is 2020 run retirement and that means I need to close it out and she's going to make that really hard. So I love that. I love that. I was going to ask you about that because you told yeah. me last year you wanted to win 10. Right. Retire. Right. And I've just dropped the ball on one. But it's just, it's really fun to be in a field event. I have no effect on her results. She has no effect on mine. So you really can encourage each other and just be friendly in the competition. And I just love that. It looked like you had some good throws. What was your longest throw up? Uh, 59.73, I think. And what, was, uh, and what, what do you usually throw? Is that pretty close to your best? Uh, that's only my... F- well, my, my competitions under 60 meters this year have been 56, which is terrible. Well, no. <laughs> uh, it, was, it was fine. It felt better than London um, on Saturday. So this quick turnaround maybe was a little bit hard on the body. I got back from Europe on Sunday night. Um, but I did everything I needed to to recover. So it's really a technical thing. I had my entire family in the crowd today. Um, like 17 people came that I love and love me and it was just really awesome. I love coming to Des Moines because that happens every time. It's a national championship plus family reunion. Um, and I've, I've felt a lot, a lot, a lot alone this year. I've traveled to Europe twice for a long period of time and it's, sorry, really tough to just be by myself on the other side of the world. So to come home and feel supported was really nice. I just wish that that would come out and perform. You did great, and uh, well, you got a little bit of time between now and Doha. Right, still two months. Right, you got two months to think. Yeah, yeah, and that's the perfect amount of time to really focus on the technical stuff. Yeah. Well, good luck. Thank you. Have a great rest of the season. Thank you so much. It's always fun to watch. Thanks.